What's going on, Clicks? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Dup. It's your boy, Ross. We in the Clicks, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another visit today. You feel me? All right, we're going to check out the worst type of love interest. Now, I think this video uh, was sent to us by some of the people in the Discord. Shout out to y'all that have been uh, suggesting some dope vids. I like the idea of this because we've always had the conversation with some of these superheroes and their love interests being kind of like you really think like, why is this person attracted to them? Like he's motherfucking Spider-Man. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all and let me know if y'all feel the same way. But the OG Spider-Man movies, uh, MJ, with bro, with Toby, MJ used to irritate my fucking soul, bro. Yeah, for sure. I was like, bro, why is this nigga? So when that nigga had the black suit, he had the black hair, and he was on some man, he didn't give a shit. He was walking I was down like, the street like that, yeah, man. Bro, yeah, nigga, yeah. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I fucks with that, man. Gwen is better for you anyway. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's just... Like, this nigga out here trying to save the city. She was over there. Uh, what movie was that? Was it the second one when she was complaining like he's not there enough or whatever? I forgot which one. It was the second one. may have been the third one. But he's out here saving the fucking city, baby. Like, what you want this nigga to do? Hey, it was the second one. But, yeah, man. Hey, all I know is she was toxic. I was tired of her. So we're going <laughs> to check out all these toxic women in these uh, movies <laughs> that were the worst type of love interest you could have dealt with. And we had to see. On Someone said MJ had no ass. All right, I'm not gonna go there, bro. <laughs> there aren't many things that I like more than superheroes. The only things Who's I can think one? of off the top of my head that I like more than superheroes are maybe sleeping, sleeping with rain and thunder outside, and probably sleeping. I want everything that a superhero has. And Powers, rain and thunder fame, Batman's yeah. bank account, and most of all, <laughs> the chance to help people out. Nah, Batman just got, Thanks, bro. He just got stupid money just to have it, bro. <laughs> just an unlimited source of money. Just an unlimited source of money. He just... Hey, Alfred, I need this built. Well, Master Wayne, it's gonna, it doesn't matter. I have money. I am money. Print it and then build it. All right, yes, Master Wayne. <laughs> Sounds about right. And Batman's bank account. I just recently finished watching Invincible Season 2, and I loved it. But in watching peak television, I was reminded of one thing that I don't want from superheroes. <laughs> now, what do I mean by this? You all know what I'm talking about. And the countless girls you could pull as a superhero, somehow they managed to pick the worst one. After many minutes of thought, I've managed to break it down to the worst type of love interest. The me, me, me interest. This is my all-time least favorite type. The type that thinks they're just as important as the hero, and the ones that try to be the center of attention, even though 99% of the time, they're just getting in the way. Shout out to Emma Stone's Gwen Stacy for being the best love interest of all time. Yeah, she was, Emma, she was tough, bro. That, that's Let's why it hurt. Her. Yeah, that yeah. Let's give her a clap because that's she was she was cool, bro. She was cool, and it just hurt what happened. They knew that. That's why they killed her. Yep. Well, I mean, I mean it, you know, it happens in the but comics, still. but but, but they, they made knew. her too cool to. Yeah. Ah, oh, bro. She man. <sighs> the cool ones. I'm not gonna finish the rest. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Ah, the reason I wanted to make this video to begin with. Now, granted, she was much better in season two, but I still cannot let the actions of her previous season slide. What made Amber so garbage to begin with is that she knew Mark was invincible. Everyone, <laughs> Bitch, do you see him right now? This is the fourth time this week he's gotten his ass beaten inch away from yeah. death, and you're chatting about soup kitchens? I'm telling you, if I'm season one, Mark, no way, I'm calling bro. Omni Man right back down to Earth. And we're pulling some MK1 cameo shit right on her head. I'm joking. <laughs> and the Dog. fact in season one that she almost cheats on Mark at some frat party and is only stopped because the man she wanted to cheat on him with had a girlfriend made me so tight. Bro, that's like. Oh, we running a fade. <laughs> nah, it ain't wrong running a fade, nigga. I'm launching you into the, the nebula. <laughs> Damn. You, you get, you go get At least real I was close. trying to make it to where you still live. We get, we get what time you on. <laughs> Somebody said pull Bro, the nah, man. If I'm out here saving the world, doing all that shit, getting my ass beat, and you over here trying to cheat on me, and the only reason why you stop, because you realize the nigga got a, a, a girl? Hey, hey, now that makes me the villain. That's what the <laughs> villain wants you to do. No, it's other women out there, man. Go find somebody else. You're right. You becoming a villain over a chick? You're right. Damn. Hey. 
Hey, don't do that. Niggas become villains all over because they didn't get their favorite candy. <clears throat> oh, you didn't messed up now. <laughs> What did Again, you say? she knew Mark was invincible, so she really has no other excuse for doing this other than just being a bad person. All the times in season one when she was mad or she was crying, they were for nothing. She was acting because she knew the reason behind Mark's behavior. Amber might be the best example of me, me, me. She borderline says it. Look. You lied to me. You made me feel stupid and unimportant. It's <laughs> oh, yeah. Omni Man. Come back down here and handle this shit. I'm done. Amber <laughs> was so hypocritical in season one. When she was at the soup kitchen with Eve, she said, make the world you want to live in. <laughs> Isn't that what Mark was just doing? No, no, no. What she meant to say was, make the world a better place unless it messes with my ego. Saying this to Eve, then going right ahead and making Mark feel like trash after he tries to do just that. Man, Omni Man, come back down here and handle this shit again. Amber played the victim so much in season one, she redeemed herself a little bit in my eyes in season two. She was trying to be real understanding, and I almost felt bad for her. But not really. <laughs> I would be lying if I said I didn't get hype as fuck when they broke it. Eve is better. Next. Duh. Now, it's He's absolutely no surprise that MJ is on this list. In fact, MJ could be argued to be the worst love interest of all time. That's how trash he is in my eyes. At least in the movies, TV shows, and video games. Oh my god. God, I hated where, MJ where in the PS4 DNA? games. If you played Spider-Man PS4, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Were you a fan of her no. in the games? <clears throat> no. No. Did you care about her segments in the recent game? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry up and get them. Yeah. <laughs> My bro, <laughs> why y'all play, playing these damn stealth missions like, with okay. her, bro? Okay. Okay, bro. If somebody really wanted to end her, they could. <laughs> Constantly complaining at Peter that he treats her like she's made of glass. This is the first time in my life that I've been provoked to hit a woman. Like, bro, <laughs> you are not helping against these motherfuckers. Go what? home. Get out of here. I will never get over that phone call after she snuck into the armed military saber base with nothing but some fucking rocks and then yelled at yeah. Peter for saving her. You have no idea how much I wanted to get the symbiote suit and go launch some haymakers towards her way. I'd make the argument that MJ does this on purpose just to be manipulative or something. No one in their right mind thinks that this is acceptable when you have no powers. This isn't even mentioning 2002 MJ, where she got so mad at Peter for not showing up to her whack ass play because he had to go save the city mm. once again. Once. Just Bro, one. that shit made me mad. As a kid watching this, I understood like, as men, we just we can't win. <laughs> we have to... Oh no. Cause it's some <laughs> for some reason you always got some important shit to do while somebody's life is in danger or the city. Bro, as a kid, I shouldn't be what thinking Stressed. about this in my fucking superhero movie. But I knew if Spider-Man is getting chewed out for saving the fucking city. No hope for us. I'm a black man. It's GG for me. Let the city burn. Let's go to this play instead. Once do I want Peter to tell her that she is not, that, not guy. that guy. Movie MJ has to be a part of the Young Sinister man. Six or something yes, because this is way too devious of activities for her not to be the main villain of the whole franchise. Right. Denied his proposal, got with yep. his best friend, yep. complained every chance she got, yep. and only started liking him after he got powers. Yep. Not to mention mm -hmm. that she was low-key cheating on everybody the whole three movies. Not even just on Peter, but on Harry and this Why? other dude too. Remember yep. that iconic alleyway kiss? Yeah, yeah, she had a man when she was doing that. Yep. Devious acts. Honestly, when she got kidnapped by Goblin, Peter should have said fuck it and went home. <laughs> then, after all this ends and she's not with Harry anymore, she decides that she loves Peter. Yeah. And when does she tell him? At her ex-boyfriend's dad's funeral. Nah, Honestly, nah, looking back on nah. this, I understand why Harry went on demon timing. Shit, I would too. And, and this is why I didn't feel bad when my man was grooving down the street with the black hair. I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, he was thank you. He was on time, bro. It was about time you showed Yo ass. <laughs> like, come on, man. Not Swag. only does she cheat on Harry a bunch, but in Spider-Man 2, she gets engaged just to spite Peter. Yes. Then tries her absolute best to cheat on her new fiance. All right, Peter, come handle this. <laughs> By the end of Spider-Man 2, she finds out Peter's identity. Mind you, she finds out when Peter saves her from falling rubble. Like, bitch. This one's for all my baby girls. Move! I know what you're thinking. He's this has to be the end right. of it, right? Not even so close. Ass. I know oh. you remembered her fiance, right? Unlike a normal oh. person, instead of breaking off the engagement right away when she oh. found out she was in love with Peter and Peter loved her, 
She waits until the very last minute just to leave him at the yeah, altar. Yeah, bro. Fuck. DV. That shit is kind of Yeah, fun, that bro. was. That's he let this man go through all that. That's how you make a villain. Again, Ross on his timing. His pause timing is crazy. <laughs> That's how you make a villain, though. That that constitutes, especially if you know who she left you for. Oh, all right. All right. Let's go, okay. Yes, Axe. Again, are we entirely sure that this hoe isn't a part of the Sinister Six? But at the end of Spider-Man 2, they do eventually get together. Then Spider-Man 3 rolls around and she gets canned from her job because she's a garbage actress. <laughs> then blames Peter for being Spider-Man. Yeah. Like what? What the hell are you talking about? But Peter was on crazy time in this movie, like like on more than one occasion. So maybe Dog. Wow. <laughs> that nigga definitely hit the <laughs> woman would I tell you. Backhand. I give her a slide. But back to the point, we're supposed to feel bad for MJ, but it's just too impossible because after Peter slips up and acts out one time, she just cheats on him again. I swear, I swear, I've never seen a more unfaithful love interest than Sam Raimi's MJ. So what does Peter do in retaliation? <laughs> okay, okay. But for real, he tries to make her jealous by using Gwen Stacy, but ended up going for a more direct approach. And MJ <laughs> being like this goes through every dimension too. I really have no sympathy for her. Bro, this nigga showed up at her own fucking situation. Nigga started dancing. Yeah, bro. You got your job. <laughs> he hey, go up. sing for me, bro. Go, go, go work. <laughs> Bully McGuire was great, bro. <laughs> and I just nigga, might tip. I just might if you do a good job. <laughs> bro. Couldn't have been me in that black Spider-Man suit. <laughs> Man, time. Peter, do it one more time for the people. You are not the Flash, Barry. We oh, are. oh my lord. This is the not worst. too much on ours, bro. Nah, bro. You got to be Not too much real. on ours, bro. You got to be real, bro. She, all right, bro, was, but not too much on cool ours. That's all I'm saying. first few seasons, but then I'm... I, I, <clears throat> I just like, come on, bro. What are we doing? The absolute worst. Iris West from the CW Flash That's show could, Iris, could be the worst love interest of all time. <laughs> and I don't even know why it went so wrong. If you remember, in the beginning season of the CW Flash show, Iris wasn't that bad. She yeah, was actually she was... pretty cool. But then she joined the team and it all went to her head. We are the Flash. You know, they him off the show? This needs to be studied how Iris you became. What? They kicked him off the show. Who? Him. Oh, for real? Because of some uh, old tweets. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't funny, bro. Cause I actually liked this character. It was, it damn, was pretty... I didn't know that. Yeah. Cause I had stopped watching a while back. But damn, yeah. they kicked yeah. this nigga off. The... Hey, that's that cancel. It had to be wild. He had to say some fucked up shit. I don't even think it was that. I don't, I don't know, know. It was like borderline racist or it, what. It had to be something. I mean, granted, we live in a time period. You can say something. But it's like you can tell he was just tweeting like uh, everybody was tweeting back in the day. Oh, okay. Like just and saying the and most ridiculous thought that came to the top of your head at the moment. Oh, okay. And they, 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 just they ran with it. Okay. Somebody right. somebody found the tweet. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You know how that goes. One of the most annoying characters in fiction after season four. My it was God, it. Yeah, Flash people just made it more this. extra, yeah. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph Dibney put it best, so I'm gonna let Ralph say it for me. You don't have any concept of how dangerous it is for me out there. Yes, I do. How could you? Because I am the leader of this team. Yeah, that's right, you are. But you're always back there hiding, safe from the town. I'm not sure when she's the he leader did of team Flash, out, but she is that ass the right, only one that chill. doesn't have powers on the team. She needs to get that MJ treatment and go home. Or when Barry took Nora back to the future after it was revealed she was working with the reverse Flash, me, she out here talking about we again. Is this bitch French? After season one, I could not stand right, Iris. After Iris said this to Barry during that argument, I knew she was too far gone to be redeemed. And she explained why. That she was working with dogs. That was me, Barry. Something's in my head. <laughs> I'm That's the crazy thing. Don murdered his mom in front of him. What do you mean? What do you mean? Man, it was for a reason. Man, y'all need to relax on our Nah, bro. bro. Let that I let chill. that ride, bro. Yeah, nah, chill, let that man. ride. Nah, don't hear talking about bro. weed. Nigga, you in the back. 
Right, nigga. Where the other pedestrians are. Safe. <laughs> and your ass running into danger, getting your ass whooped this every two true. seconds. You need to be in the back, too. <laughs> Barry used to run into an ass whooping. <laughs> Something's in my right. ass. That doesn't bother you. No excuses, dude. Y'all I tripped you off at super speed, no, so it seemed... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barry, come handle this shit again. Being a superhero would be badass. Don't get me wrong, but I definitely wouldn't be dealing with some of these girls. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments who you think is the worst love interest of all time. This was a good one, bro. This was definitely a good one. Y'all gonna, uh, uh, this is channel WRMZ. He only has 5K subscribers. Scroll up. Y'all go subscribe to him, man, right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. WRMZ. Yeah. You gonna see the original link to the video yeah, in the yeah, comment yeah. section. So, go get a homie some like, man. Hey, make sure y'all go show him some love and all that. Uh, not really on all the Irish part, but you know, it's all good, man. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all don't want to let his bias go. Nah, bro. Not a bias. He trash after a certain point, bro. It's not a bias, bro. <laughs> you just talking about the show in general, the writers, the show. <laughs> That's what you mean. But, um, right, right, right. <laughs> but look at him. Oof, glad my girl ain't like that. It's, <laughs> Good one, good one. But now, nah, man, if y'all enjoyed oh it, my God. Uh, make sure you let us know if y'all want us to check out some more. Again, go show the homies some love. Always mm -hmm. spread love, be love. We will be here next time. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.